from. You have to look ahead, those 15, 20, 25 years ahead, where the world is ruled by solutions and not by problems. It's not a dream, it's actually something I am going to do whatever I can to contribute to, to make that happen. I just want to make sure that we win. What we're trying to do is actually to see how far can this hydrogen fuel cell car go in 24 hours between two public fueling stations. Is it possible to do 2,400 kilometers? We think it's possible actually to change the transport industry from being a problem to becoming a solution. Somebody has to do that first step. He's the brain, and uh, I'm more like the hooligan. My name is Marius Bornstein. I'm a Master of Physics for several years. I've been working with fuel cell vehicles, so I really know all about what's going into the car, how it works. Uh, we just um, challenge each other and, and the solution. When you bring in someone that's better than you, you can spar with each other and you can see how far you can go. This is the first ever fuel cell car to be mass produced. It fully operates and feels like a normal car, but it has a completely different propulsion system. The fuel is hydrogen gas, which combined with oxygen in the air in the fuel cell generates electricity to power the wheels. The emission is water. This car does not emit carbon dioxide at all, only pure water. The problem is, driving the car today the old-fashioned way creates pollution. And there are a billion problems carrying cars out there right now. And we make another 100 million new problems or vehicles every year. There are unforeseen problems down the road, like climate change, that we don't fully understand the consequences of. So we have to do something now with a solution good enough to fixing the problem. We have to introduce something that our children can use in the future. Becoming pollution free. That is the end goal. The technology and the solution is good enough to actually beat the problems forever. And driving it now takes us into the clean future. My first hero was actually the first man on the moon. Neil Armstrong. And it was actually the fuel cell and hydrogen that took us to the moon. The Apollo program was 17 missions and um, it's actually Apollo 11 that was the one who landed on the moon, not Apollo 1. If you can dream it, you can do it. You have to start somewhere and you have to have a plan and, and, and don't consider ever that the first thing we see of a new technology or a new solution, that will be the best one we ever made. The mobile telephone or the camera that I'm looking at now. It was an absolute stunning invention when it came out the first one, but since then it has evolved into something way beyond our imagination, but still it's going to be 
one of the early ships that started the journey. bigger plan. So this is not the final step or the final mission. And already this solution is good enough to beat the problem. charge up and fueled up right so what we do is that we drink olive oil from the bottle and get a piece of bread and we are on the way to the future it's not wine boys not yet, not yet. but it's also look what the Sun can do right put it into the most beautiful of all of oil good wine and fuel 